Okay, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I know I haven't been in YouTube for a very long time, but I just want to talk about the new Everfest cards. And I want to go to sleep because I need to sleep. So, Spring Tidings, a Benji specialization. Thank you, LSS, for making this card. Another two attacks and get to draw. Oh my god, this card is amazing, a majestic. And you get to draw for every two base that has been in this com that I control in this combat link. And it doesn't even have to be, let's just say you pumped it to three or something, it still counts. You can draw and the the possibility endless of Benji. I'm a diehard Benji player. I've been playing Benji for the past couple of weeks avidly, I mean, even a month maybe. But I remember starting Dab One with Benji back in the skirmish season one, where people were just writing off Benji. And I'll, I'll talk about more about my Benji deck tech before, prior to Everfest, but how people are falling into the Benji trap, which makes Benji good and also bad. But let's hear about So that's Spring Tiding. Uh, There's gonna be one quick take, and I don't wanna edit anything, I just wanna do this and quickly. But I just realized it has the same exact border as a regular ninja card. I thought specialization cards have uh, the Mysterio border order. The border that um, whatever that hero comes from, from their lore. Just like how um, Dor Dorinthia has that gold thing around her border for her Steel Blade Supremacy and Singing Steel Blade. The, uh, what you call it? Katsu has the Mysteria thing with uh, Lord of Wind and Moon Genji release. Even Ira with her Whirling Mist Blossom has a Mysteria border. But Benji has a regular generic uh, border, which is nothing crazy. It's just a minor detail. So I'm just uh, wondering, did LSS make that mistake because they rushed it and they forgot, hey, Benji is also a, a hero from Mysteria. Why doesn't he get that same border treatment? All right. So that was it, uh, that was it. And then the second one I just saw right now where 100 win is a rare. And also it came with, let's see, what was the third, what was the second one? Um, let me look, let me look. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be all one take. Oh yeah, it's Winds of Eternity, another Majestic with Attack for Two. It's called Sword Like Fine, uh, fine Center for Attacks for Two, which I'm gonna include in the thing. But the Winds of uh, 100 wins is something that I'm gonna be replacing Head Jab with. Because if it's a yellow, Tax for two, blocks only for two, but has a gold game and it has a combo. So that works with flick flags. So before the head jump only blocks for two and uh, what you call it, I add that because it gives a, a gold game. But this one with 100 win, it tax for two, blocks for two, but if I have flick flag in there, I could that could potentially box for four instead of two like a head jab. So, and then it has a combo. Man, the possibility, Endless right now. My head is blowing my mind. I'm already deciding. If you look up here, I'm gonna just show you quickly. I'm already deciding what I'm gonna take out for my Benji deck and everything. Is it? And I'm looking up here on my screen. All right. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Oh my god. I, I have actually never been this excited for a set to come out because now I'm Benji's finally getting the support that he need. And I and. Given I already just finished a, a little casual blitz tournament uh, armory, very small, but I already uh, found out a way to already beat Dorinthia and Bravo with the Benji deck that I have right now. Because I just beat in a Dorinthia and a Bravo, all right, and I was able to play because I played against them a lot. And now, now imagine <laughs> with Everfest coming out. Of course, they're gonna be getting their own support too, but <laughs> Benji's gonna be such more uh, such. A crazy threat because of these cards. Well, who knows? I gotta play test it more and more. But let's go on to the next uh, thing I want to talk about. The second half is um, a little bone to pick with LSS after this is uh, Louis from Kitchen Table TCG. He did not get a spoiler card because I don't know why. I think it's because LSS thinks that he hates the game. He's trying to kill the game and that uh, he's been pumping Meta Zoo. But <laughs> Uh, it's very petty of them to actually not give the guy who loves this game so much that he moved, he stopped, he quit his own job to pursue this YouTube channel 
for this game. And yes, he put he does other TCG, but come on, you tell me Rui doesn't do other TCG. Um, you're talking about how um, Red Zone Roll or Dia Armada don't tell, say anything about the other game, uh, other games and stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's not because he is pumping medicine. I think it's something else that's fur that goes and was they think LSS got influenced by somebody else. All right, but he, they also took away his will learn to play kit on their website too. Not only they gave they took a, they didn't give him a spoiler card this this set, but they also took away his thing. And I really feel that's very petty of them, very petty petty of you LSS. All right, and I think I know the reason one of, might be the reason why he didn't get it something along where he somebody some other content here he thinks he was harassing girls, but it wasn't him, and. Uh, he mistaken that content creator mistaken him for somebody else on the Wall Street uh, Discord channel, and um, LSS might have picked that up, thought that he was the one and harassing people, and they they think that that's not a correct behavior. Which if it was him, I would I would agree with LSS. Yeah, you don't do that. But it actually wasn't him. It was another person, which I'm not gonna name names. But come on, LSS, you are going to deny a per. Yeah, think about what this does to him. Like he's a very positive guy. I'm not trying to like suck his dick or anything, uh, but he's he he is one of the most positive guy about this game. He's all for the game and everything, and like being a positive community. And I freaking hate that word community because a lot of people use it in the wrong way. And you go are sending a message to the people that he shouldn't be this person that he is. Just because you probably heard it from somebody else that he was a bad person without real life fight. Have you even opened any dialogue with him ever? No. Alright, so I think it's very petty of him that he didn't get a spoiler card. I mean, Scheming Skeleton didn't get one because I understand, you no, know, like he's been talking bad about it. He wasn't really pumped and he does a lot of Genesis. So yeah, I understand, but come on. A guy that's dedicated his whole entire channel, well, now it's like 80% of the ch channel to Fresh and Blood. Now imagine the, what you did to him. Uh, you t <laughs> I'll be surprised if he's... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he now pumps other games so along with it. Because now this is the message that LSS is telling me. It's like, you're not good enough. Or we don't like you anymore. Forget about all the things that you've been doing. And I really hope Louie doesn't take this the wrong way. Or take this negatively and influence his love for the game because he i know he still loves this game for the future and he continues to making great content for F fresh and blood and uh hopefully they'll give him uh, a, a spoiler for the next set that's all i gotta say i'll talk more about why i've been missing for a while in the next thing but that's it for me bye